Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Except today, we're not. Uh, today is Sunday, October 13th, 2024. It's about 2.45 here in Birmingham, Alabama. 2.45 p.m., that is. And it's only about 82 degrees outside. It is lovely. Um, or And it's not so humid. So, I know some people are going like, 82, oh my gosh, that's hot. Well, it's better than 102 and 116% humidity, I promise. But that's Alabama, right? So, I'm not sure if I've said welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me because I have started this video three or four times already. Um, so, I haven't been here in a couple of days, but there's a couple of good reasons for that. Or just reasons, whether they're good or not, it's a different story. Um... Friday, Mama had blood work for her upcoming, had to do blood work for her upcoming heart cath that she's supposed to have this coming Friday on the 18th. Um, and we did that. And then we went to a few places. Where did we go? We went to eat. And then we went, I think we went to Michael's. And then she was stumbling around and everything because... She took her nighttime medicine Friday morning. And yeah, that was great. So I was just making sure she didn't fall all day long. The the nurse uh, at the blood work noticed it first. Uh, well, I noticed that she had taken the nighttime medicine, which means there was gabapentin, which means she was drunk. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, look at the puppy. Hey, puppers. That's what I say when they come in the front door. I'm like, hey, puppy dog and customer. <laughs> So, I've loved on quite a few puppies today. Um, anyway, so Friday they did that and did blood work and everything. And then we went to eat. We went to Metro Diner. It was pretty good. And then she didn't eat a whole lot. And before we got home, she was hungry again. So, we went to Jack's. Got us some hamburgers. That was pretty good, too. Um... Then we went, uh, oh, I got her a diamond painting at Michael's. And so far, so good, but those pieces are so tiny. And But it, after it caught her attention and after she started getting the dots in the right place, I mean, to looking better in the right places, she got a little more interested in it. So she's just in a, real, a whole lot of pain with that arm and the bruising is just terrible up behind it. But I think Tuesday when... Um, we go and they do the new x-rays and put a lighter cast on her and a shorter cast. I think she's going to feel a lot better. So we hope so. As of right now, she's wanting to cancel her heart cath uh, because she's in so much pain. But I'm hoping by Tuesday um, that she'll feel better and, and be okay with having it because it has already been postponed once due to my schedule. But anyway, um, then after that, Friday afternoon, I started having some pain in my left side and um, I, I hardly slept, and I got to thinking, you know, maybe it's a passing thing, because <laughs> we just never know. At my age, you know, pains in your gut usually mean something's, <laughs> something's building. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm sorry. TMI, TMI. But um, for real, though, when you get older, <laughs> you start getting pains in your gut, you're thinking something's about to happen. Uh, but it wasn't, and it wasn't going away, and it just kept getting worse and worse. So, uh, like I said, I couldn't hardly sleep Friday night. Uh, Saturday, it just kept getting worse. I had to come to work because I can't not come to work. And, um, so then I had to go to urgent care during my lunch hour, which turned into lunch hours because I had to go to urgent care. And the doctor said that I have, uh, diver diverticulosis, which are uh, like little sacs that go out from your intestines or your abdominal wall. I mean, not your abdominal wall. From your intestines. And then it turns into a diver diverticulitis when stuff gets stuck in there and gets infected. Gross, I know. I'm sorry, but it's a fact of life. It says people over 50. Well, one place said people over 40, so I didn't feel too bad, but then it said people over 50. And then first thing doctor asked was, when did you have your last colonoscopy? I said, well, it's been, what had happened was, it has been like almost six years ago now because 
I was I had polyps. Was supposed to have another one in three years, and so a couple of years ago I scheduled one, and they wanted some huge copay because I had polyps the first time. They now consider me a problem child, so they wanted a facilities fee and a doctor's fee. And the first time I thought it was bad. This time, the first time, I thought it was bad. The first time. They wanted like $600, not a copay. My insurance covered stuff, but they wanted, I guess, what, a down payment or something on the facilities fee and a doctor's fee. So two years ago, I had to cancel for that reason. In addition to, I don't have anybody to drive me. So I had finally found uh, someone that offered to take me uh, this time. And um, come to find out, two days before the colonoscopy, they called me and said they wanted a facilities fee and a doctor's, a physician's fee up front for $800. I do believe I mentioned this in one of my videos. So this was two days before. Even if I had $800, um, I couldn't literally poop it in two days. I mean, if I could come up with $800, I couldn't poop it in two days. Hello? So, and, um, you know, somebody shut down my GoFundMe, so I can't really ask anybody for money. Um, and I do still have PayPal, Venmo, and Ko-Fi, though, if anybody wants to <laughs> contribute to the colonoscopy fund. <sighs> if it's not this fund, it's that fund, right? And it's no fun whatsoever. Anyway, so when I told her, you know, that thing, she said, Oh, my gosh, where do you go for the hospital? So I told her. And um, I guess I'm just going to have to find another doctor or something because the reason I wanted to go back to that one was because he did the first one and he would have records. But, you know, doctors can, um, you know, they could transfer records and whatever. But, I mean, I just couldn't believe I have good insurance. That's the thing about it. So, anyway, she said I, I need a colonoscopy, but also that um, I had diverticulosis, which are the pockets that form on your uh, intestinal wall and but when they be, when they get stuff trapped in there they become and infected they become diverticulitis and that's what has happened and I said are you sure I'm not just full of it and needing to you know whatever she said oh no I could tell if that was the case and I said well that's good some for some reason because I was hoping I wasn't coming to the doctor just so you could tell me to go to the bathroom <laughs> still TMI I know I know but anyway, so they've put me on some medicine, um, said that not to eat little tiny things like peanuts or popcorn or anything with small seeds, tomatoes, and then broccoli and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, why not just shoot me now? Because, you know, every other day I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it has chunky peanut butter in it. And then the other day I eat my ham and cheese, right? So I swap them out. But, oh my gosh, I love chunky peanut butter. I don't like smooth peanut butter. But I guess I'm going to have to do that at least till it goes away. And then, like I said, she gave me antibiotic and... I don't know what all this mess is. Antibiotic and... Maybe two antibiotics. I really can't tell. It doesn't tell what they're for. I know one of them is antibiotic. I feel like one of them is probably something for the effects of an antibiotic that females get sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like taking medicine, so there's that. So, we're hoping the pain is still bad, but not as bad as yesterday. I felt feverish, but I didn't have a fever. Uh, I was just hurting so bad my whole body. She said um, maybe some heat and pad. Uh, so I slept on a heating pad last night and it seems to be a little bit better today. The other thing, which kidney doctor has already said was do not eat all that ibuprofen all the time. I'm like, I'm old. I'm in pain. All, my body hurts from being on this concrete floor all day. She said, so try Tylenol. She said, ibuprofen is not good on your gut. Um, but then Tylenol kills your liver. So I guess it's the lesser of two evils. So I will probably take Tylenol until this thing's over. And, um, or I may mix it from now on and I don't know. But anyway, with daddy having passed away from liver disease, I really try not to do anything that's going to damage my liver, even though it wasn't a hereditary thing, but you still, it still makes you think about it. Um, 
so yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the fun activities for the weekend. I'm back at work, as you can see. I am at lunch. I'm going to try to eat soup for a couple of days, see if that helps, or a few days. Um, and it surely can't hurt. Get some, Maybe if I could eat soup for even a month, it might help pull off some of this weight. Uh, because I feel like it just keeps packing on, but it doesn't. It's I'm the same weight I have been, which is still too much. But... And the only thing about soup is, you know, once you eat soup, you're hungry again in an hour, so. But I'm just going to try to control it. I had been drinking a few more Pepsis lately than I should be. Um, which kidneys said, don't do that either. So, I guess I'm stuck with water and, and bread and soup. Mm, that's not good for a fat girl. <laughs> but, anyway. Alright, well... I guess that's it for today. I'm going to um, get back in here and go to work for a couple hours. I did have an earlier shift today. So, um, that will help my feelings a whole lot. Get home a little bit early. Dog even had to wait till this morning to go to the bathroom because I could not walk her after I got in last night. But she understood. And when she heard me whining, she just laid down next to me and held it. <laughs> and I hate it. But every now and then... That's only about the second or third time ever that I've had to do that once was when I had COVID. But I try not to mistreat her like that very often. So y'all have a good day. Have a good Sunday. Keep the prayers coming this way for me and Mama. Um, and I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. Here's my buddy Theo. Hey, Theo. <laughs> He's going back to work too. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Keep the prayers coming. And if you got any money, send me money. <laughs> I really need a colonoscopy. But I'll just have to raise some funds some kind of way. If I could just sell some of the stuff I keep making, I, that would help. <laughs> Thank you for watching and liking and subscribing and all the things. If you haven't yet subscribed, please try to do so. I promise I'll bring you some more crochet content very soon. Love y'all. Have a good day. Bye.